Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the drop down navigation bar using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo. Whenever we hover over the list items, the drop down menu comes out, and we can see the cool banner image below the navigation bar. For code, you can visit my CodePen profile. I'll drop the link to the code below this video. Feel free to visit my CodePen profile. CodePen is an online editor, where we can edit our HTML pages and preview the result instantly. We can save our projects in it. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure. First, create the container development, and within that create the nav section. Inside the nav section consider the unordered list with four list items with text. And below the nav section create the header development, which is used to set the banner image. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm going to use the Open Sans Google fonts. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the Open Sans font family to the body and here Sans Serif is the secondary font family, in a case if browsers don't support the Open Sans. Let's style the nav section, by setting 100% width, 75 pixels height, and background color. Now fix the navigation bar on the top, by setting the position value to the fixed, and set the top and left property values to zero and give the high index value, so that the navigation bar always stays on the top of the content. Now set the specific width to the unordered list and give the 100% of the height, where, it inherits nav section's height which is 75 pixels. Place the unordered list in the center of the nav section by setting the margin left and margin right value to auto. Use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Now set the 20% width to the list items and float them to the left. Position the list items exactly in the center using the text align property. Change the color. And set the padding values in such a way that the text places vertically in the center.
Increase the font size and turn the text to the uppercase. Use the transition property for smooth transition effect. Let's set the banner image, to the header, by using the background property. Set the min height. The image displays only when the height is set. Set the 75 pixels of the margin top, so that the banner image place exactly below the navigation bar. Now whenever we hover over the list items, the color of the text changes to pink. Use the box shadow property to create the top border effect. Let's go back to the HTML structure, inside any list item, create the unordered list with class and inside that the unordered list, create the 5 list items with text. Look at the submenu, currently, the submenu looks the mess. Let's style the submenu. First, let's start with the sub unordered list. Check the hierarchy. The submenu unordered list is the child element to the list items. Set the position value to absolute, which is related to the list items. Set the background color. Width, hide and accept the top, set the box shadow effect to other three sides.
by using the top and left properties, place the submenu exactly below the parent list item. Now style the sublist items, change the color, decrease the font size, set the 100% width and decrease the top and bottom padding values and make the left and right padding values zero. Set the hover effect to the sublist items, by changing the color to pink and remove the box shadow, as it looks bit odd in the submenu. Now we can hide the submenu. In many ways, let's try to hide the submenu using the display none property. Let's make the display property value 2 block. But the problem with display property is, the transition effect doesn't apply on the display property. See whenever we hover over the list items, the submenu fades out and fades in fastly. So to tackle this issue, we can use the visibility and opacity properties together. See? Now the transition effect is applying on these properties. Let's get back to the HTML structure and create the one more submenu inside the list item. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.